So you've got a male, which is the larger one, and the female, which is clasped underneath. And so the female the isopods mate front half, then back half. And they can't actually inseminate the female while their exoskeleton's hard. They've got to wait for it to be soft. And that happens just after a molt. So a big male finds a female that's just molted the front half and grabs hold of her and carries her around for a day or two waiting for her to molt the back half when he inseminates her. But you, then you get the whole uh, fitness of the species thing coming into play because if a male without a female finds a male carrying a female, he'll try and beat it up and take the female off of her and then carry it around. So only the biggest and strongest males are able to actually carry the females and to the point where she actually molts her, the back end and is soft enough to for them to copulate sex life of macroinvertebrates in the mound springs.